Hi guys, welcome to my new video. Today we will study about turbines. First of all, let us see that what is turbine. A turbine is a rotatory mechanical device that extracts energy from a fluid flow and converts it into useful work. The work produced by a turbine can be used for generating electrical power when combined with a generator or producing thrust as in case of a jet engine. So basically, there are two types of hydro turbines, impulse and reaction. Today, we will study about impulse turbines. In an impulse turbine, the fluid is forced to hit the turbine at high speed. In an impulse turbine, a fast-moving fluid is fired through a narrow no nozzle at the turbine blades to make them spin around. The blades of an impulse turbine are usually bucket shaped so they catch the fluid and direct it off at an angle. You can see the principle of impulse turbine. Now there are three types of impulse turbines. Pelt and wheel turbine, turbo turbine and cross flow turbine. Pelt and wheel turbine. It is an impulse type water turbine. It was invented by Lester Allen Pelton in 1870s. The Pelton wheel extracts energy from the impulse of moving water. The Pelton turbine consists of a wheel with a series of split buckets set around its rim. A high velocity jet of water is directed tangentially at the wheel. The jet hits each bucket under split in half so that each half is turned and deflected back almost to 180 degree. Nearly all the energy of the water goes into propelling the bucket and the deflected water falls into a discharge channel below. Let's have a look at the components of belt and wheel turbine. The first component is nozzle and flow regulating arrangement. Nozzle is used to increase the kinetic energy of the water that is going to strike the buckets or veins attached to the runner. The spear is a conical needle present in the nozzle. It is operated by a hand wheel or automatically in an axial direction. The spear is installed inside the nozzle and regulates the flow of water that is going to strike on the veins of the runner. The second component is runner and buckets. Runner is a rotating part of the turbine. It is a circular disc on the periphery of which a number of buckets evenly spread are fixed. The buckets are designed in such a way that a jet of water strike in the buckets deflected through 160 degree to 170 degree. The third part is casing. The outer covering of the belt and turbine is called casing. It prevents the splashing of the water and helps to discharge the water into a trail race. It also acts as a safeguard in case of an accident occurs. The fourth part is braking jet. In order to stop the runner in the shortest possible time, a small nozzle is provided which directs the jet of water at the back of the wings. This jet of water used to stop the runner of the belt and turbine is called braking jet. The braking jet is fixed at the opposite side of the blades. Next, we will see turbo turbine. The turbo turbine is similar to the Pelton, but here the jet strikes the plane of the runner at an angle typically 20 to 25 degree so that the water enters the runner on one side and exits on the other. So that's it for the today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment and subscribe to Bunker Study Point. Thank you.